And then, you know, just, just the way the rest of these guys in here after this conversation ends, um, it's Penny, it's Royce, it's Josh Adams, it's Rojo, it's Ito Smith, kind of all those kind of guys. And n- none of those guys factor in. Like, clearly, I would take uh, either one of these top two guys over them. Uh, how about it, would any, you take Rodney Anderson over Penny? Psh, all day. <laughs> <laughs> Every damn day. And we don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. We don't know how the medical But I am a Penny up. hater, and I'll admit it, so... I mean, I think right this second, I gotta take. I'll take Penny on that biggest run first offense in the league, and the opportunity that may be in his in his way right here with the you know first round draft capital and big. You know, they've much improved. They're blocking and they're tight. They brought in blocking tight ends and picked the best blocking tight end in the, in the draft last year. Who ended up not playing, but he'll he'll be back. So don't forget about Will Disley. Yeah, yeah I, I I would take who was, Penny who was, right now. Who was really trending upwards before he got hurt. Because I think because of Rodney Anderson's injuries, I think he's hardly known. Yeah. I, you know, I, I think right That's now fair. You, you take Penny and then you grab Rodney I, Anderson. But I, 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 re- I, I want the I want the I want Rodney Anderson a lot, but I don't think he's gonna be anywhere near the penny range sure. of where you need to take Rodney Anderson. So I think I, until he gets drafted high by a good team or something. I yeah. Mean, well, we'll see how. All I just that want to hear of, about these combine medicals. What all these kind of stuff plays out. But what are they doing? I, I do really like Rodney Anderson. Is there any? Is there any other running backs that you would take over? Over, let's just say the Penny and the Royces of last year. Yeah, right I now? mean, I'll take Damian Harris. Yeah. And I'll. I mean, give me Betty Snell. I mean, all all of these guys. Ooh. All, like Penny's still going relatively high. I'm in a, taking in a Rash- startup. I would rather have Betty Snell than Rashad Penny. And and in that sense, not you're not people are you're not hate saying that. people are gonna hate. Well, you're not. But, that, uh, but just to clear it up, like you're not saying like where Penny's going that you would take one of those guys over Rashad Penny because he is going still pretty high. You can get those guys at a, at a discounted rate from where Penny's going right now, but you would rather have them on your team than Rashad Penny. So like, you're just not drafting Penny at the point where he's being drafted Mm-mm. and you would just rather wait a little while yeah, and Penny's have those guys on your team. Fourth, he, yeah. Fourth, fifth, fourth, round, fifth still. round startup. So and still and hanging around. If I could trade you Penny for a first round pick, I would still do it. And then I would take one of these running backs that I like. Right. I uh, mean, a startup Penny's fourth, fifth round and Benny Snell's going to be 10th I, And I get, you don't have to take Benny Snell in the first round yet. Yeah. It's not, he's not there yet, but I'll, just a, tra- I'll take draft. that first round in a pick and I'll, draft you're talking about. Right. And I'll trade out and get Ben. ben and in when the Jay says yet, the early rookie drafts, he probably won't be there at all. But the late rookie drafts, if you see him busting off in first or second weeks of preseason. In a good situation. In a good situation. Drafted or, higher than you ever thought he would be. Maybe not even in a good situation, but then all of a sudden he can turn it into a good situation if he's out there busting off in the preseason. They're like, hey, this guy's actually really, really good. Mm-hmm. He oh oh he he ran a four or six forty but he actually knows where to cut when to cut how to cut right lower the shoulder good feet mm-hmm. pass protection mm-hmm. what capable well, catch don't ever. ask Matt Miller because that guy just tore old Benny Snell up I don't know what he was watching because he didn't it wasn't he, the same shit I was watching he was probably watching Pollard right I don't <laughs> I don't know what he was watching but we're not on the same page no nah, not at all probably why he's blocked by or so he blocks so many people <laughs> on Twitter because they. They go at him a lot because uh, you bring a uh, bring a uh, exhibit A, right? And it's not what he was thinking. 